What's up guys, my name is Calvin Wiley and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be discussing information about Pisolitheria Metallica, which is the Goody Sapphire Tarantula. This is not going to be a care video, if you were wondering, I'm mainly just going to be discussing information about this particular species. I may, however, do a care video in the future though. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So this lovely lady right here is my female Pisolotheria metallica, commonly referred to as the Goody Sapphire Tarantula. Some other common names for this tarantula are the Goody Sapphire Ornamental and also the Peacock Tarantula. So the genus that this tarantula is in is Pisolotheria, and there are a total of 16 different species within this genus. Now, like all other tarantula species, the females live a lot longer than the males. For this particular species, the females live around 12 years, while the males live around 3 to 4 years. So the Goody Sapphire is what's known as an Old World species of tarantula. If you're not familiar with New World or Old World terminology when it's referring to tarantulas, it's actually pretty simple, and I'll explain it to you. So... New World tarantulas are tarantulas that are native to North and South America. Old World tarantulas are tarantulas that are native to Australia, Africa, Asia, and Europe. Now when it comes to New World species of tarantulas, the majority of them, not all of them, but the majority of them possess the ability to flick off hairs from their abdomen. Now these hairs that are located on their abdomen are known as urticating hairs and these hairs when they kick them off using their hind legs they become airborne and so what happens is once these hairs become airborne they have the potential to land on the skin, they have the potential to get in the eyes or through the nasal passages, uh, the mouth, etc. And these hairs are barbed and they can be very, very irritating, um, especially, like I said, if they get in your nose or in your eyes, but they are supposed to, you know, ward predators off from potentially feasting upon the tarantula. Now, when it comes to old world tarantulas, all old world tarantulas, not even the majority, but all of them lack urticating hairs. And so the Goody Sapphire, as well as all of the other old worlds, do not possess that defense mechanism to flick urticating hairs off from their abdomen. And so what they lack in terms of that defense mechanism is that they make up for with a much stronger potency within their venom. Now I'm not saying their venom is going to unalive you, but it is a lot stronger than those of New World species. Also too, Old World species of tarantulas tend to be more defensive. I don't like using the word aggressive. They tend to be more defensive, um, especially when you go and try to, I don't know, touch them. Not saying that you should really handle old world species of tarantulas, but they are very quick to rear up and show their fangs as opposed to new world species of tarantulas, which typically don't do that, although they can, but they typically will not be as offensive as old world tarantulas. So really quickly, I just wanted to share with you guys my brand new line of stickers that I have available for sale on my website. All of these are various animals that I drew on paper by hand, colored them in, and then converted them into high quality, long lasting, waterproof stickers. Just to give you a quick idea of what they look like up close, here's one of my favorite drawings that I drew of a European hornet. All of these drawings were achieved by using these markers to color them in. If you're interested in purchasing any of these stickers, you can head on over to my website, calvinwiley.net, or you can hit the link in my description, which will send you directly to my website for you to purchase them. Thank you so much to all of those in advance who end up getting one for supporting my small business. And now, back to the video. If you're wondering why this tarantula has the name Goody in its name, Goody is actually the town in Andhra Pradesh, which is one of the various states in India, in South Central India to be exact. 
Goody is the town where this tarantula was first originally found and reported. So that is where they get their name Goody Sapphire from. And then Sapphire, obviously, from the blue coloration on its body. So you may be wondering why this tarantula is blue and if it serves any purpose. So it's believed that their blue coloration is to help them blend with then lichen. So real, really quickly, just to explain, this species of tarantula is what's known as an arboreal species. And so it's an old world arboreal species of tarantula. So arboreal tarantula species, if you're not familiar, are tarantulas that live on and within trees. And so they love a vertical kind of, you know, landscape. Uh, for lack of better words, uh, these tarantulas are not too fond to be on the ground. They prefer heights, and so they dwell on trees, and they also live inside of them. And so commonly what grows on trees is lichen. And so the blue is believed, supposed to help them blend within the lichen so that you know predators aren't able to detect them. One thing that is for certain about their blue body coloration is that it serves as a warning for predators and also for anyone else that the Goody Sapphire has incredibly strong venom. Now, if you're not familiar with what the Goody Sapphire is infamously known for, they are supposedly said to be the most venomous species of tarantula on the planet. There are some people that argue that it isn't and that it's a different species, but regardless of if it is or isn't, the fact of the matter is that they have incredibly strong venom. And for that reason, they are definitely not a species for beginners who, you know, just want to get into the tarantula hobby or, you know, invertebrate hobby in general. I've personally never been envenomated by this particular species of tarantula. From what I've read online, it can be pretty intense. However, uh, they do give a lot of dry bites. If you're not familiar with a dry bite, a dry bite is basically a warning. Uh, tarantulas and other venomous animals that bite and inject venom will do. Uh, a dry bite is basically a bite without any venom being injected. And so it's just a warning like, you know, hey, I can hurt you. Do not make me use my venom. Venom is a resource, and so the tarantulas, as well as other venomous animals, don't want to waste it on something that they cannot eat. And so this tarantula, obviously, I am not food. And so if it were to bite me, it will most likely be a dry bite because it does not want to to waste a valuable resource as venom because that depletes energy and they have to eventually build that up over time to be able to use again. And so they want to use that for food, not necessarily for a human being like myself. Now, the unfortunate circumstances of the Goody Sapphire, as well as other related species within its genus, is that it is critically endangered in the wild. And the reason for this is due to deforestation, as well as illegal exporting of this species, in its native range to other parts of the world, especially the United States. Now, because of this, the Goody Sapphire, as well as all other members within the Pisolotheria genus, are a protected group of spiders. Now, the sad thing is that there are actually more Goody Sapphires within captivity than there are in the wild. I mean, the good thing is that there are a lot of Goody Sapphires within captivity due to a lot of breeders who were successful in breeding this species. It would be nice if one day we could reintroduce this tarantula back into the wild and, you know, the deforestation could, you know, be put to an end. Um, and we could, you know, hopefully see their numbers flourish and rise as a population. But as of now, the species is currently just doing well in captivity and declining out in the wild. So that is going to conclude today's video. If you guys have any questions that I didn't cover about the Goody Sapphire Tarantula, please just let me know in the comments and I will try my best to answer them. 
If you guys enjoyed the video, if you could please leave a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications. That way you're alerted every time that I post a new video. Follow me on Instagram at Kelvin Wiley and also on TikTok at Kelvin underscore Wiley. Check out my website, kelvinwiley.net, and I will see you guys in the next video.